Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 5 of Vlogmas. Today I'm going to be doing like a more of a colourful like Christmas party or like work do look. Obviously it's more like full colours right now and it's like the reds, the oranges, possibly yellows, like the browns, that sort of thing. But I thought let's mix it, let's mix it up a bit and I've been willing to give I've been wanting to give the Mermaid's Forever Revolution Makeup Revolution palette a second chance because I thought why not and also I do want to make sure I get my use out of this palette because I did spend like 8 quid on it. Some I will say some of the shadows are hits and misses but some of the shades are hit and misses but you'll sort of see when you watch the video and if you are new to my channel don't forget to don't forget to like and subscribe and let's just get into this video i've obviously already done my base which is basically the same apart from i used some of my 10 day clinique even better glow sample and i have it in the shade alabaster and obviously it's very it does match I like to point out I might look a little bit darker that's because I use the MUA Pro Base, Pro Base Matte Satin Press Powder and I use that as a just like to mattify it because I can find my baking like my bake and I'm not in the mood to try and find it either it's probably in my drawer but it was there and basically I crushed it up and I accidentally applied too much of it so please bear with and also I have put on eye primer which I've used in a couple of my previous videos start off with I'm just gonna go in with this I need to do this in life I'm gonna start off with this white shade just to set that eye primer in place These shadows do have shade names, but I've lost the sheet head that has the shade names on because I bought this palette a couple months back and I've moved since then, so I'm gonna use the same brush things so that I all I've done is put white on it. And I've really wanted to use this sort of army green jade right here oh swatch it on the back of my hand which isn't a bad jade if you look at it so and yes I know I'm going into my crease with a shimmer but oh well I've done it before Okay, so I wasn't expecting that to uh, work out as well as it did. I'm just gonna drag this up. To my brow bone. Obviously I know it's not the most pigmented, but it is there, I promise. And then I'm gonna actually I'm just gonna do one eye because then I can do the other eye off camera I don't usually do this sort of look 
And when I say I don't do the sword look, I'm meaning the cat eye. But I'm feeling it, so... Yeah. I like to point out, I'm going to stick away from the browns in this palette. And the next shade I'm going to go in is this blue right here. Which is actually really pretty. And now I'm taking a separate brush for this. Okay, now that is pigmented, and I didn't expect it to be. And now, I'm going to grab a concealer brush. And I'm going to cut crease. Let's just put the lid back on that. And then let's go in, which shade do I want to go in with? Let's go in with this orange right here. Like that one. is obviously very pretty So I just put that orange on the top. I'm also going to take that brush I had the concealer on and I'm going to try and clean up my cut <laughs> My cut eye, should I say, not cut crease. And then to add another bright colour to this look, I'm going to grab another brush and I'm going to dig into this 
green. One of these two green. That's pretty much first and the left. And I'm just going to put this. Like, you see that? That's probably one of the best shades in there. And I'm just going to put that. I'm going to top it off. I'm going to put it on my waterline. And that is the tie done. Actually, no, it's not. I'm going to grab a 17 eye crayon and I'm going to use this sort of gold colour. Actually, no, that's a pinky one. Can I find the gold? And I'm going to grab gold shade which is that right there that one and I'll just show you it so you blend it out very pretty and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye to brighten up my eye Actually, I'm considering putting some on the eyes. But that was only in the centre. Let's try and move a bit closer. And then here comes the part where I fail. Because I'm going to attempt eyeliner. But then again, this is my good eye. So, I might have some luck. Yes, I do realise it doesn't look the greatest. Let's try and sort this out a little bit. And then let's try and clip that out because... You can definitely tell that I've not done more liner in a while. I can't find my lid. Oh, it's there. It's hidden. So again, let's use this concealer to try and clean everything up.
and that looks a lot better. Does also mean I've lost part of cut eye, but that doesn't bother me too much. This is so. It's like eyeliner sent me. it does but I'm also not sure but now let's grab this car and yes I am wearing mascara is done but in case you're wondering what lip, what lip I'm going to use I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Glossy in the shade Captivate Me because I don't want to go for a lipstick I've been really wanting to wear lip glosses. So that is what I'm doing. And that is what it looks like. So you add a pop of pink tools of You add a pop of pink to all of this. Okay, so I finished both eyes. I have had to modify the eyeliner on this side because, again, I cannot do eyeliner on that side. Like, if you look at that, they are different. I do prefer that side though, just because it's how I would usually do eyeliner, but I noticed a gap, so. I was about to say watch me ruin the eyeliner but and this is the best I can do. I also realised I hadn't applied highlight and I know that's a scandal for me because I always apply highlight and my highlight is in my school bag but then again I'm not surprised <laughs> Or at least I believed it to be. Oh, it's on the floor. <laughs> I'd obviously used it. Then again, I did the other reason. So. How's my highlight? Or it's dropped on the floor or something. 
and I'm going to be applying the MUA Shimmer Highlighter Powder in the shade Peach Diamond, yeah, which looks like that, like a pinky undertone, and anyone who subscribes to my channel will know, will be like, what the hell, you're wearing pink, because I don't usually put a pink highlighter on. Stay. And now I'm going to do something that I've not seen anyone do before. I'm going to grab some of my finger and I'm going to put some in the inner corner of my nose. Never seen anybody do it. And I'm wanting to be different. So. And again, obviously the highlight's not gonna show up. Like, do you see that? That pink. To be honest, I'm really digging it, so yeah. Okay, now that is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to don't forget to subscribe down below and comment any video ideas and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!